for the functions f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 1 on x minus 4, a. State why g of f of x is not defined. To state why g of f of x is not defined, you need to show that the range of the inner function f of x is not equal to or a subset of the domain of the outer function g of x. To do this, we draw a table and write down the domain and range of each of the functions. f of x is a parabola. Sketching f of x, the domain is going to be all real numbers and the range is going to be from 0 to infinity. And so writing this in the table, the domain is all real numbers and the range is from 0 to infinity. g of x is a hyperbola translated 4 units to the right. Doing a quick sketch of g of x, the domain of g is going to be all real numbers except for 4. And the range of g is going to be all real numbers except for 0. From here we can see that the range of the inner function f of x is not a subset of the domain of the outer function g of x. The range of f is from 0 to infinity and it includes the number 4. However, the domain of g does not include the number 4 and so this means the composite function g of f of x is not defined. And so we need to state that the range of the inner function f of x is not a subset of the domain of the outer function g of x. And so we can write this as the range from 0 to infinity is not a subset of the domain of all real numbers and not including 4. And so therefore g of f of x is not defined. b. Restrict the domain of f to form a new function h of x such that g of h of x is defined. The domain of the function g is all real numbers except for 4. And so if we restrict the domain of the function f so that its range is from 0 to infinity and not including 4, then the range of f will be a subset of the domain of g. f of x will equal to 4 when x is equal to plus or minus 2. And so if we restrict the domain of f to all real numbers except for minus 2 and 2, then its range will be from 0 to infinity except for 4. And so h of x is going to have the rule x squared where its domain is going to be all real numbers except for minus 2 and 2. Because the range of h of x is now a subset of the domain of g of x, the composite function g of h of x is defined. C. Find g of h of x. g of h of x can be written as g of x squared. And so wherever there's an x in g of x, we're going to replace it with x squared. And so this is going to be 1 on x squared minus 4. And the domain of g of h of x is going to be the domain of the inner function. And the domain of the inner function is all real numbers except for minus 2 and 2. That's it for this video. In the next video I'll show you some examples on how to find the range of a composite function and sketching a composite function.